In this video, we will watch. Join us as Baker Mayfield addresses the media, recapping the recent game against the Lions and sharing his insights on what to expect in the upcoming showdown with the Falcons this Sunday. Get the quarterback's perspective on the action-packed week ahead. Hello, and welcome back, my friends. Do not forget to subscribe, as our goal is to reach 5,000 subscribers and hit the thumbs up. Tremendous player, I think, just... Uh... Obviously, he's got all the physical tools you want, but he's an extremely smart player. You can tell his leadership, too. Just being up close and personal with him uh, multiple times a year. He, he's a great leader. He gets guys on the same page. And so you can see just that kind of he plays on film already. And um, yeah, I, I think he's a, a really smart player as well and uh, just a, a good person. So he's somebody in the back end that definitely commands their defense. Baker, you told us on Sunday that you felt like the offense needed to get pissed off. But attitude can only take you so far, right? Action needs to follow that. Just what kind of actions would you like to see from this team in practice on Sundays to, to get you where you need to be? Um, just fundamentally executing, uh, you know, after watching the film. It's never, the good games, bad games, never as good as the film, or film's never as good as you think it is. It's never as bad either. So uh, a few of those things, it's a lot of fundamentals. Um, and just some, you know, like I mentioned, get pissed off, but it's taking pride in your work. Uh, about executing and doing your job each play. And so uh, today we had a good practice and uh, the, there wasn't any rah-rah speech. The guys know what we need to, to get done. That's why, you know, this is a, a veteran group that um, everybody just understands what we need to do to get it fixed. And, you know, like I mentioned after the game, I'll get my stuff fixed and everybody else is, is doing the same thing. So I, I'm not worried about it. How's the hand? Golden. How long does it take for you to get over a loss like like Sundays? I mean, is it is it more difficult given that there were so many opportunities that just came up, you know, short the, the throw to Mike, you yeah. know, and, and Trey obviously uh, could have been big plays. Yeah, um, you know, there, there's the classic 24 hour rule when you come in on Monday, watch the film, and you want to flush it. Um, it's a little bit hard when you when you don't have a practice or anything to <clears throat> go out there and really truly flush it. So. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it, it takes about a day, but as soon as you start watching the next week's opponent and film, and obviously, uh, you know, we got a division one this week, so it, it's a quicker flush than normal. Do you guys feel like you're still, I mean, it's still early, you're in a pretty good spot, looking at the NFC South, like, what, you know, what's the attitude, the move right now? Uh, I mean, we're, we're still hungry. We're, we're still, all of our goals are in front of us. You know, it starts with, you know, big picture wise, you, you have to win your division first to get where you want to go. And so uh, we're still in control of our destiny when it comes in to that. So um, got a big one for us. And so it's, it, we're not hitting the panic button. Uh, we know we can play better. And, and that's the good thing. It's not, uh, we're looking around like, oh no, what's the deal? Uh, how do we fix this? And no, we know what we need to fix. And uh, we have a good group to be able to do that. Thank you. I know you have had a good connection with Mike. He had a 200 yard game, and then you know he got hurt in the game mm -hmm. last week. We saw what happened with him getting open, and he's had some drops. Is it just time on task between the two of you? I know you, you know you always want to get everybody involved, right? And Chris has done some nice things, but where where are you? Where is he at mentally? Uh, just in, in terms of things. Uh, I mean, first thing I'll say, I'm not worried about Mike. Uh, you know, when it comes to certain drops, uh, I mean, you can go the same way with my stuff. Certain miss throws, not worried about it. We'll get it fixed. The physical stuff. We'll, we'll get that uh, corrected but um, yeah it's just it's never about hitting the panic button it's still instilling confidence the ball is always going to come his way I'm still going to find ways to get him the ball uh, especially Chris obviously uh, a tough guy for us took a, took a few shots late in the game and uh, yeah just just continuing to give them chances to make plays in the ball and uh, yeah they're great players for a reason. You have mentioned this team should be scoring a lot more points does there have to be more of a threat of a running game for that for that offense to really kind of open up and click? Yeah, I think to have a complimentary offense, you got to be able to run the ball too. But also in the red zone, we just need to score touchdowns instead of field goals. That's that's the biggest thing. So I think when it comes down to us being able to put more points on the board, we haven't been as good as we need to in the red zone. Um, that's just plain and simple. And that's every aspect of our offense when we get down there. We've had some good games, but uh, need to have a game where we're 100% in the red zone with touchdowns. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I hope you like our hard work. Please like and subscribe to our channel to support us so that we can keep updating you with the daily news and stories. Please share our videos and follow us on Instagram and Twitter. So leave a comment below and tell us how you rate this video.